Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I will be talking about what happened to Jar Jar Binks after the Clone Wars. If you do not already know, Jar Jar Binks was a Gungan politician during the Republic and he played a key role in the destruction of the Republic. He was mostly known for his clumsiness and for the fact that he was very naive. He was hated across the galaxy, but there was a good reason for that. Binks rose to prominence after Senator Padme Amidala was forced into hiding after a series of assassination attempts on Coruscant. Jar Jar took her place in the Senate. Binks was easily manipulated by more experienced politicians and they convinced Jar Jar to give Palpatine emergency powers so he could create the Grand Army of the Republic. But this, however, was the opposite of what Padme Amidala wanted. During the course of the Clone Wars, more bills were passed that granted Palpatine even more emergency powers. Eventually, Palpatine revealed himself to be a Sith Lord, and out of the ashes of the Republic, he formed the Galactic Empire. The only reason he had the power to do this is because Jar Jar had given him emergency powers. Many people blamed Jar Jar for the rise of the Empire, and only after the event did Jar Jar realize what he actually had done. Jar Jar was clumsy and easily manipulated. He was not fit for a seat in the Senate. That didn't mean he was a bad person or that he intended to destroy the Republic, he was just not mentally equipped for such an important job. Jar Jar tried his best to fill Amidala's shoes, but in the end, he failed. After the formation of the Empire, Jar Jar went into hiding. Not much is known about him during the Galactic Empire and during the events of the original trilogy. However, during the New Republic era, we know a few things about him. Even now, with the Empire gone, he was still hated by many. Since so many people hated him and the fact that he was clumsy, he didn't find a good job. Instead, he performed in the streets of Theed as a clown. Many of the kids in Theed loved him. He would juggle, dance, and do lots of weird things like spitting fish in the air and catching them. Adults, however, hated Jar Jar's performances and wouldn't talk to him or even say his name. With no friends, no family, no other Gungans to talk to, Jar Jar, the senator of the Grand Republic, was reduced to nothing but a street performer for the rest of his days. So that is the sad destiny of Jar Jar Binks. Do you think Jar Jar got what he deserved for being crucial to the rise of the Empire, or should he be forgiven for the mistakes he's made? Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Lisa caught Jar Jar Binks.